What's up everybody on YouTube? Maxi Rock here with another video and today this video is going to be a quick little vlog. Well, I don't want to say a quick one because I may start rambling for like 15 minutes, but anywho, it's a quick vlog because I haven't put too many videos out lately. I did one yesterday saying Happy Thanksgiving, but I don't really count that one. Um, I guess what I can start off with is, because uh, I'm talking about the Alcatel Pop, because you know, some phones that I brought not too long ago. Uh, I was really excited about it because of the price and all the features that it came with. You know, 13 megapixel camera in the back, five in the front with a flash, a dual tone flash in the back. Um, capable of shooting 1080p video, but only 720p in the front. Had a 1080p screen, had a fingerprint scanner, had an octa-core processor. Uh, with the MediaTek, it was clocked at 1.8 gigahertz, four cores. I think one gigahertz, the other four. Decent GPU. It was a cool phone. But um the, 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 the reason, let me just tell you guys this right now. The reason I sent it back, I got I got my money back and everything. I didn't want the phone anymore. Was primarily because of the camera. Um it's just I never had a camera that bad. Like even in daylight, the video was okay, but like it just didn't perform well enough, and I didn't feel like the money I spent, you know, was worth it. Because other than that, I'm not going to lie, other than that, the phone did perform okay. It was a little hiccupy here. I'll install some applications to see. I installed a couple applications, and I reset the phone. Not reset it, restart it. Application won't be installed on the, in the, in the device anymore. I'm shooting this right by my window, so excuse the airplane I live in. I live in Charlotte, and I'm right by the airport, so it's constant, constant, constant. So you may hear a couple airplanes, probably more than that, within this video. But I've got a list, you know, so I can stay focus on the main point of this vlog here. Well, one of the points I want to hit in this vlog, because, you know, a vlog is just a vlog. So anyway, uh, yeah, it was the cameras. Main reason was definitely the cameras. Uh, in in low light situations, of course, you can't expect a phone at that price to perform that good in low light situations. But like, it's never been that bad. Like, I never seen a camera that like you got to get the phone yourself and use it yourself to see what I'm talking about. Because, a matter of fact, I think I made a video talking about the camera, showing you guys. I just haven't put it out yet. So. Eventually that video will drop. I got a tag in and everything. It's already uploaded. It's got a tag it. And uh, you will see what I'm talking about for the most part. Like uh, even in like well lit situations, the camera was seen to be draggy. Like I thought the Z Max Pro, for example, I thought that camera was like wasn't too good. But it turns out the camera here is not that bad. I'll just I don't know. I guess I was just used to a certain phone, like, uh, like this one here, Moto G4. But that camera in the front is pretty good, and the back is good as well. But it just has auto focus and problems, the rear facing camera. But, um, yeah, for sure, I thought this camera was bad, but compared to that Appletail Pop, there's just no comparison. Get the phone yourself, you'll see what I'm talking about. There is more to get into it, but I don't want to just drag it on. I don't want to just bash the camera, even though I pretty much already did, but... Uh, yeah, also the display in the phone, it was good, it was crispy, it looked nice, but with the auto brightness, uh, it's a feature that you can't necessarily turn off, and when I say that, I mean, oh, by the way, I'm shooting this with the Alcatel Idol 3, that front facing camera, decided to use that one because, well, I had my SIM card in there already, so I didn't feel like tweaking it out, and uh, I'm just going to upload this straight to YouTube from the phone because I use Cricket now. Unlimited data. Minus one. By the way, I'm going to talk, I'm 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 talk about Cricket as well, too. That you guys know about Cricket. Because you know, some good things. Well, it's just some things that you heard about Cricket that are true, which are good things. Not bad things, all right? But uh, the display for the Alcatel, it was a, it was a good-looking display. But the auto brightness feature was, like, something that you probably never experienced on the phone, like, if you cut the auto brightness on, of course it auto it auto uh, it works automatically. You know it adjusts to the lighting in the room, 
basically it does it all by itself. But when you turn it off, the feature is not necessarily off. Like, let's say you cut it off, right? And you have it at full brightness. If you go to your settings, oh, give me a second now. Oh, okay, I just got a message. I got my phone on silent. But anyway, if you uh go to your settings, for example, you will see the screen actually brighten up, which is weird. And I think I displayed that in that video I'm talking about as well. So you will see exactly what I'm talking about in the future. But just know the screen, it was good looking, but it had his, it had a mind of its own. All right, that was annoying. Uh, let me see here. Uh, storage and everything was fine. It was running Android 6.0, not 6.0.1. So little petty things like the emojis wasn't fully updated. Uh, you, there was a couple of features on there that you didn't have, like you had on 6.0.1. So who knows when that was going to get that update, let alone Nougat. Um, let's see here. Or I already talked about how when you power the device on and off, so basically you're setting a device or restarting the device, the apps will be deleted. So I thought that was annoying. So basically little things that are kind of petty, but with the camera, I'm not being petty about that camera. You got to see that camera in person. You got to use it and see what I'm talking about. It's, I never, no, no phone should be that bad in the camera department this phone right here i could tell uh one touch elevate the virtual remote had a uh, better front facing camera and rear facing camera than pop in my opinion and this is two in the front five in the back so that should say something to you right there. all right i'm not bsing you by the way you do see my calls in the background got a couple cups on my tv stand and something's playing oh hockey's on i don't watch hockey it's just on that channel Anywho, uh, I guess Black Friday. Um, I got a couple things with Black Friday. I didn't really go overboard. I wanted to get the Z Max, uh, uh, not the Z Max, excuse me, the Axon 7 Mini. And they had it on sale for $199. It's still currently on sale. I think it's going to be like that for another day or so. Um, I was going to get that phone, but I realized, like, what would I be getting besides the front facing speakers in that phone? Because it's a phone with the 617. Now, I got two phones with the 617. Matter of fact, three phones with the 617. I don't want another phone with the 617 because if it's anything like these devices, it's pretty much the same experience. Um, from now on, when I get phones, I'm really considering like everything, not everything, but uh, the, the things that I care about to be an upgrade before I actually do it. A phone I did buy though, I bought it on Best Buy. I bought that Tribute HD from Boost Mobile. I don't have Boost Mobile, but at 20 bucks, you can't pass up things like that. You get 2 gigs of RAM almost, well, 1.5 gig of RAM, 16 gigabytes of storage. You get an HD screen, 8 megapixel camera in the back, 5 in the front. And with LG, you can expect the cameras to be at least decent. So I'm going to put that phone to use. After, I'm going to have that, they say, uh, December the 6th or whenever. I brought some games on Amazon because, you know, 15 bucks for games that are like 50 bucks normally. Can't pass that up. Um, and excuse me for looking at the screen here. I know the camera's over here, but it's going back and forth. So I uh, bought a couple things. A um, little upset that I couldn't get everything that I wanted because I'm seeing, I saw the uh, the Galaxy S6 on, I think it was Straight Talk for like 250 I think it was 250 Some crazy price like that. Even the iPhone 5 was 99 bucks, so if you ever wanted one of those phones at that price for it to be brand new, it was a no-brainer, yo. So I would recommend you go and get that. Um, you know, some TVs and everything on sale. Um, I've seen the 4K TV for 200 bucks. Not sure how that would work, but I mean, I don't know if I could spend 200 bucks on a 4K TV. It just wouldn't make any sense to me. Um, can't expect it to last too long. You know they had to cut corners somewhere, so whether it be audio, build quality, whatever. You know, hey, have fun if you bought that. But um, other than that, let's talk about cricket. So cricket, I've been having cricket for about a month now, a little over a month, and I can honestly say they don't slow down speeds. I kind of knew that already, but they really don't slow down speeds. When they say it's unlimited, it's really unlimited. And test that theory. I'm not gonna lie. I was using Cricut like crazy. I was abusing that shit. I'm talking like 180 gigs last month. And it was no slowdown whatsoever. I, I, I purposely would switch phones 
and SD cards and phones. Take my title playlist, which is like over a thousand songs, you know, for just organizing to albums and everything. And just download it all to a phone. And then, okay, let me do this one. Oh, download all to that phone. Just doing that constantly, see if the uh, data speeds will slow down. Not one time did it slow down. So shout out to Cricket. They say it's unlimited. It's 100% unlimited. I've been pretty good with the coverage and everything. Some phones have a uh, weaker signal than others, like the Idle here. This uh, LTE coverage is kind of iffy. Like, uh, you won't get any bars, but you will still have connection to the network. And I'm not sure if that's the network doing that or not, because let's say I put the SIM card in the ZMAX Pro. I never get less than four bars. And if I do get less than four bars, it's because I guess I'm holding the phone with a certain grip. Because you know, remember those old those old uh videos where you hold the phone a certain way, the signal will go down. Which makes sense because you're covering the antenna. But with the idle here, you you can just have the phone right by the window and you'll probably get maybe one or two bars. But if you go to certain areas like a mile down the road, you get four covers, like you probably like six bars. Like you know, it's no no question that the coverage is good there. Um, let me see here. What else can I say about Cricket? Uh, everything's been cool, you know. And anytime I want to switch my phone, just pop it, send it to a new phone, and have a good time. Well, not a good time, but just not have to <laughs> go through the hassle of calling you want to get it switched. Now, one thing, though, you know what? Now, I'm going to leave that alone because I don't want this to get messed up with the people who already know about it. So what I was going to say, scratch that. Forget I even said that. Um, rest in peace to Galaxy Note 7. <laughs> It's been dead for a while, but I don't know, man. I just feel bad for Samsung having to go through all that. Um, I'm hoping the S8 is a huge success because Samsung is a good company. You know, they put out really good products. You know, and uh, I just hope they don't rush anything like they did with the Note 7 because that's the thing. With companies, I don't know. They feel like they got to do these yearly updates with their phones, but if you don't feel the need to necessarily, you know, put a phone out at a certain time, then don't do it. Like, for the iPhone, I understand you want to compete with Apple, but let's be honest, who's really competing with Apple? I mean, the closest person is Samsung, but you're not, you're not, okay, like, just stop. Like, if I, if I was, like, working with Samsung with the marketing and, uh, you know, uh, I guess, I don't want to say PR, but with marketing and everything like that, yeah, you want to get the phone out around the same time as iPhone to give people the option of the Note 7 and the iPhone Air, but if the phone is being rushed to be produced, it's probably not the best time to release it because you want to put the phone through vigorous testing, otherwise something like the Note 7 would happen, and that wasn't good for anyone. Customers, Samsung and the business department. It, it just did bad for them making money, and it did bad for customers and their safety. So that definitely declined sales for some of their devices, and they're trying to do everything they can to get their, you know, to get people to come back to them. But if you do if you do right by the SA, you should be okay. Um, some other phones here, the Ecole Pro, yeah, that phone is cool. Uh, <laughs> one of the weirdest named phones I've seen, uh, like Ecole Pro. You know, I, I mean, I know you want to name it whatever you want to name it after your company, whatever, but it's cool. But, uh, other than the name, the phone does look cool. It has a 821 in it. Pretty cool phone. Um, seen uh, got a different type of UI. You hear noise in the background, excuse all that. Uh, it's a couple of the phones they have on the site too, but I'm not 100% sure the names of I think one of them is S3. And then one of them I think has the word Max in it. You know, they're not copying your ZTE, I hope. <laughs> OnePlus 3T, effed up, but I mean, what can you say? If a company is able to put out a better product in a less, you know, you know, less than a year from when they released the uh, the newest product, which is released on a yearly interval, uh, can it? Can you really be mad about it? I mean, you get a faster processor, you get an improved front-facing camera. It's just, the display is still 1080. You get a bigger battery which I think is cool. You get a bigger battery, and the phone is still the same size. And that's amazing. But, I don't know. I, th I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with it. I think it's effed up because people did, you know, let's say for someone who just bought the phone like a week prior, and the 3T came out, it is kind of messed up. But, 
you know, what can you do? A company wants to put out something new, let them put out something new. I'm not going to complain about that, especially when uh, it's only a $40 increase, $40, $50 increase for, I think, the 64 gig model. Am I wrong? Don't quote me on that. But, um, yeah, 3T looks cool. Uh, when I get one, it's 400 bucks, man. If I'm going to spend 400 bucks. I'm looking more towards the Z Play. I love, because I love Motorola phones, in case you guys didn't know. Motorola is probably my favorite company. Um, Motorola and, and uh, Lenovo, or Lenovo, whatever. <laughs> <The L. laughs> um, they've been putting in that work this year. Got so many different phones out for every single customer. Someone who wants, you know, a Motorola device, it's not the highest end, it's like low end. Then they got like budget, and then they have mid range for the Z Play, and they have the high end with the Force. And I really think um, they're going to surprise us again with another device that's probably between the Moto G4 and the Z Play, but not on the Z Play's level. So it's crazy. That 625 I hear is really good, man. The Octa Core 625. I hear it's really good. Shout out to uh, Snapdragon. Um, what else can I talk about? Mm, any news I've been seeing lately? Do, 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 do. Um, What I got my eyes on in the future. Let me see. What I got my eyes on in the future is honestly, I'm gonna wait for the S8. I really, if I if I get it, if I get another flagship, if I get a flagship phone, it's probably going to be the S8 or either a flagship from last year. Probably the S7, even the V10. The V10 is still a cool looking phone to me. Uh, I heard the camera is amazing out here. Uh, I've seen videos, of course, but. You know, videos only go so far. You got to use that shit in person. Um, 17 minutes, y'all. It's on here talking. <laughs> Let me see. What else? Uh, anything else? That's pretty much it. Um, if I forget anything else, I just make another vlog. Because I'm not doing anything today. So if you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I want to say, of course, thank you for watching this long as video. <laughs> uh, excuse my French. My name is Max Rock, of course. Y'all have a good day. Peace, y'all. Give me a second. I gotta stop the camera.